you know i i come from a very small town uh, shimla and i was born and brought up there and uh, you know in that city where and especially in the 90s where people would just expect you i was doing my uh, bachelor's in science at that point and everybody was expecting me to get engaged by second year and then get married in the final year but you know my mantra in life has always been trust your instinct trust your instinct you will never go wrong but i just told myself i don't have to give in to this pressure and if i again trusting my instinct i decided that i want to do mba and uh, came to delhi did my mba from here and uh, joined advertising as a writer now again lot of people telling me no this is a wrong career choice writers are uh, uh, dying without a penny now uh, you know you, you will not get paid really well but again i trusted my instinct because i knew i could write i knew i enjoyed writing got into it enjoyed my two and a half years of advertising so finally uh, you know after advertising i got an offer from radio mirchi that was my biggest career move if i say from advertising to radio mirchi that was also again in terms of i joined there as a writer so my job was to you know uh, write copies and write campaigns for radio and write for different different set of clients the only uh, most exciting part at that point was in advertising you have few clients so you don't get opportunity to work on say other brands like for example if you're working for pepsi you will not get an opportunity to work on coke but here in uh, uh, you know radio i got that opportunity to work on different different clients and again uh, i realized that i could do something else also apart from so it's also about discovering your talents that you never took seriously i never took writing seriously i was a very good writer in my college days also I used to get so many awards but i never took it seriously but then when i realized that this was important so here also in radio i realized that i could i was good with content so you know i started producing the morning show the evening show i started doing uh, music for the station again a talent uh, which i had but never paid attention to uh, and you know the very very simple thing that we ignore in life this is what i really want to tell all the youngsters out there that you know when somebody tells you uh, in especially in terms of music or anything else there are so many parents still now also who also think in music mein kya career ho sakta hai so please uh, let your kids decide your their careers because music uh, till now people ask me uh okay so you're a radio jockey i'm like yeah or they would ask me uh you know in the in the past as well so you're working for radio mirchi i said yeah so in for radio mirchi they would say so that's a hobby but what is your job the people just don't expect payment or good money that you can earn really really well uh, while doing something related to music so if your kids anybody is interested in uh, careers like this please let them go ahead because this is not the time now to just have engineers and doctors in the house the, the times have really really changed uh, so yes in radio machine i ended up spending almost 12 years of my career there and uh, you know did everything as i said uh, then i started doing music for the entire station then after that uh, uh, we were working on many many campaigns with the clients uh, ended up uh, winning so many awards also again for so many campaigns and uh, after 8 uh, years uh, i spent on the mainstream radio after that i shifted to digital and thank god for that because at that point it was not a move again which was not recommended by everyone to me because uh, everybody thought that what will you do the what is the digital part of radio like radio is radio it, it how, how it is how digital radio is different uh thankfully when i started doing digital radio we were launching online radio stations and uh, you know as they say there are things that just happen so i i happen to get a very very good boss i always say this you know uh, it's very important in your life to choose a boss if you get a boss you don't get to choose a boss but if you do please choose the right one like for example uh, my boss uh, dia mukherjee I, i think she guided me at, at every step so she was the one who offered me digital radio she was the one who pushed me to do rj so you know till my 8 years of uh, mainstream radio i used to do a lot of voice overs for the station but i never took uh, you know rj as a profession it was not my profession i was always behind the mic she was the one who said uh, you know this is 
because in digital radio as i said this was uh, new for the company also so it was not that company was ready to spend everything there so they decided that we will have people who would multitask like for example you will not get an rj a radio jockey and then a producer who would produce uh, that radio jockey's show you will have to produce your own shows or if you are a producer then you'll have to be uh, a radio jockey so i end up uh, ended up doing a show on uh, digital radio which was uh, appreciated by everybody and i realized okay i had this talent uh, so got addicted to it because obviously rjing is one uh, profession where not only just popularity because the fact that you're able to express yourself to people and uh, you're able to motivate people and there are people who would call you every day for some or the other problem or they will mail you message you or they will uh, appreciate you all that is very very important like you, your entire day whatever you're doing with those two or three hours in front of the mic are the best uh, you know hours of my life at during that time so um i started doing uh, shows then i launched on uh, radio stations also uh, it was in association with gana music app and then i decided that i uh, don't want to do a full time uh, job anywhere and i uh, want to explore something new now again here also there there is a beautiful message that i want to give to especially uh, youngsters because you know we always think okay i i'm right now um, and including me i was also like that uh, i i'm a group head i want to become uh, associate vice president i want to become vp so there's a step wise career that we always plan for ourselves and sometimes uh, there are so many people who want to break out of that mold like for example for me uh, the thing was that i i had so many talents that i discovered in my career in my entire career and there were still certain talents hidden in me which i could uh, i I mean, I felt that I could explore, and uh, again, uh, and I'm very happy that there's so many people who, uh, you know, were against that move. They said, you know, why, you know, your 12 years of career and uh, it's going so well. We thought you would retire with this place. Uh, why to do this? Well, to you know, well-paying job and everything. And again, as I said, trusting your instinct. I trusted my instinct, which told me that you have to do something else. Continued my show with Dana, which is still now, uh, you know, uh, uh, working. And after that, I started my YouTube channel, which is about books, which is about poetry, which is about nineties and life generally. So you know, again, I was never the person who wanted to be in front of the mic. but when i got there i realized that okay this is the place for me you know you realize it very late but you do and even in terms of now video when i'm saying so many people writing to me about poetry like this side of poetry i could never never ever thought that i will give so much time to poetry because i knew i wanted to do something in poetry i could write poetry but again not getting time was one thing So yes that's been my journey as i said you know obviously when you are uh, going against everybody you have to have that kind of faith in yourself if you don't have that faith if you don't have that faith in your talent and yes again uh, second most important thing i would say is also important to be practical be a dreamer not an issue but you have to be practical so if you say for example tomorrow you decided that oh i want to leave my career and i want to become an actor you should know the practical side of it that the the struggle uh, the shifting whole thing you know, staying in mumbai everything else so if you take that also into considerations in my case uh, the finances i took care of because i was working for so long so i had that so i would say uh, you know people who say just quit your corporate job and start something new uh, no be practical about it of course do not think that i have to have to work even if you don't feel like working and you feel there is something else and evaluate the talent the talent that you're trusting on like for example i trusted i could write i trusted the fact that i knew uh, i had so many awards and i had so many people telling me that uh, the writing part of you i mean whatever you write is very very good uh, you know it's taken me places so that's when i decided that yes i can trust my talent and it can give me a certain amount of uh, a recognition and even in terms of money in terms of uh, uh, career so that also i think for me it was more about having practical 
uh, with my dreams i would say that kept me going at the biggest i would say the biggest change is uh, uh, we've come back to that uh, viewing something together of course it is very different as i always say uh, when we started our careers it was all about say for example watching movies together watching doordarshan or any other channel together so uh, the focus is now more on individual viewing but also because you got to spend so much time with your family or uh, people around whoever you are staying with so you got uh, i would say uh, i don't know how to put it into words but uh, a glimpse into what everybody is watching the fact that now content is not limited to those 3 hours 2 hour movies or uh, when we say tv serials half an hour it's 15 seconds so content is moving really really fast it's mini content now everything mini will be consumed and i think it's consumed like how uh, you look at instagram reels i mean everybody thought after tiktok uh, what will happen in india but everybody launched their own short video versions and i think short video is here to stay like for example when when we started radio it was all about radio it was all about people behind the mics and they are your friends and everything now if you look at every radio channel it's more about video everything has become video because they want to prank uh, a prank segment on their uh, Uh, you know show so now uh, earlier it was all about playing that prank on air uh, on uh, through audio format but now it is also they are showing the process of making that prank and then making a video out of it and uploading it on youtube so if you see uh, everything has shifted from audio to video even the radio is not radio anymore it's more about uh, video and every company is focusing on that now uh, even i would say even in terms of uh, Uh, content also like for example uh, getting into local content everybody thought that you know uh, we have this assumption that smaller cities will take a lot of time to shift to digital uh, you know view- viewing but that's that's not true you look at youtube's top 10 trending top 10 every day or trending top 50 you will see so many channels the local haryanvi songs doing so well uh, local uh city content doing so well and there are people who do not even have like proper a mic so proper setup or uh, even the actors are not that great but that uh, content is trending because you know uh, that thing that uh, assumption that we have that we always think that smaller cities are not uh, digital savvy that is changing a lot i would say every country is looking at india in terms of music uh, listenership because uh, the youth of india and even everybody else is now on the digital music listening habits they are into those platforms so yes radio has shifted completely i would say now it is all about video even in radio it's not that radio will die of course uh, you have if you if you are allowed to do news if you are allowed to have a traffic channel just a traffic channel or talk shows uh, those kind of innovations will uh, maybe help radio but as of now i think digital is the future i i would say the biggest thing is uh, you you please don't get into that uh, that trap where if people tell you that you know you're a uh, you're a women leader but uh, you know i want to be there for the team great be there for the team just like a male uh, boss a female boss also has to be there for the team but being there for the team doesn't mean you are there uh, if they are working late say till 2 pm Uh, or 2 a.m. Sorry, and not not because they have to work till 2 p.m. because there's so much work, but 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 because they don't want to maybe go home or they don't want uh, uh, you know uh, their internet connection at home is very very poor and they want to watch everything there. So you don't have to feel guilty of leaving on time. So as women leaders, if someone tells you that you know uh, now uh, you have to stay longer for a time, because I have seen a lot of people, a lot of women uh, feeling guilty about this. that uh, oh i am leaving like i'm picking up my bag at like 6 pm you know there are so many male employees also who will pick uh, their bags at 6 pm and they, if your bosses are secure if your super bosses are secure they will always know and value your talent so you don't have to be there for the team thinking oh if i go on time they will think oh my boss is not there for me 
I think that's the biggest thing. And uh, second, I would say for everybody, I mean, especially for uh, women leaders, because I feel uh, we women have that instinct which is always correct. Like most of the time, it is correct. So please follow that. Please believe in that.